What is up YouTube back with another video. Uh, forgot these two comics. Uh, new comic book day. Today is February 8th. Um, not gonna show everything. Um, this is just what I picked up today off my, uh, my LCS. And then I did get some stuff from eBay, but I got like three more orders coming in. So I'm just gonna wait till all those get here and then, um, shoot all that together so I'm not making all these little videos but as you can see um, didn't pick up that much once again um, still trying to venture off and buy new stuff but at the same time I'm trying to save money so um, not buying too much um, I was gonna buy that Darth Maul that came out last week but I decided not to I think I'm just going to wait for the trade or see how the rest of the series goes. But I heard the first issue was really good. And Darth Maul is probably my favorite character from Star Wars. So, didn't pick it up though. So, I don't know. But, um, starting off, I did get two back issues of We Are Robin. So, um, this is number five. The story is by Lee Bermejo and the cover is by Lee Bermejo. Um, I'm not sure if he did the inside art. I forgot. But I know there's variant covers that aren't by him. But this cover's by him, and it's written by him. Same with this one. Cover and written by Lee Bermejo. This is number 12. So now I just need number 1 and number... I think just number 1. Let me check my app really quick. Um, the CLZ app. I think there's only 12 issues. I might be wrong. No, there's only 12. So I'm only missing number 1. So... Um, yeah, then I'll be done. I could add that to the Lieber Maho collection. Um, new pick it, pick up, ugh, new pickups that came out today. Um, got Red Hood and the Outlaws number seven. How do you solve a problem like Bizarro? And, um, I picked this cover. The other one was all right, but I was kind of tired of the team up photos. And I thought this just gave a little better look at the Red Hood and Bizarro's personality. But, um my shop owner pointed out how he was really disappointed because if you guys I don't know if it'll come up but it's kryptonite in there and um, he was really disappointed because green kryptonite does not affect bizarro only our blue kryptonite does so he was kind of upset that they didn't change it to blue kryptonite yeah I don't know I thought that was a little interesting conversation we had <laughs> uh, Batman Detective Comics number 950 um, I believe this is the variant cover. I believe so, yeah. Um, this is the variant cover, or the B cover, sorry. I just thought this cover was a lot better. Um, the Batman and the Flames right there just looks super dope. Uh, All-Star Batman number seven. There were so many covers and I just kind of picked one random one. Um, I love Poison Ivy, so I picked this cover. The other two were really good too, but I didn't want to spend an extra 10, 15 bucks picking them up. Uh, Justice League of America Rebirth. I um, believe this is just a one shot and then it's going to go into the series. And this is the B cover. Um, I really didn't care what cover. Uh, they both kind of looked, from what I remember, the same to me, but this one had all the characters. So just reading this because of the Suicide Squad Justice League, uh, Justice League um, team up kind of leads into it. And I like reading the team books because it gives me a lot more characters in one setting so I don't have to buy a bunch of them. Um, next up, Suicide Squad number 11. Not reading the series, but I am picking up the B covers by Lee Bermejo. Um, if you guys don't enjoy his art, I don't know what's wrong with you. Um, but this one is just crazy. It's like... Um, a site and all that's in color and then whatever's not in the site is in black and white so that looks really cool um, don't know how the story is going um, I have most of the issues I just haven't <laughs> haven't read it because I bought it for the cover then we got um Superman Action Comics 973 mild mannered part one the secret identity of Clark Kent and once again I'm reaching out to you guys for help because I do not understand this whole Superman identity crisis there's like three of them or something like that or the new 52 one died and the one before the new 52 is now back in canon 
but nobody knows who he is. Like, I don't know. So if somebody can please explain it. I know it had something to do with like convergence or something like that. I haven't read that. I have the omnibus, but it's like number 10 on my list to read. So, um, yeah, if someone could please explain that. And then we got um, Wonder Woman number 16, God Watch part one. So, yeah, not going to lie. Still haven't caught up on this series. This one's so far back, but... um. Uh, I just have so much to read, but, um, yeah, I picked it up. Thought it was a beautiful cover. I love the way that her rope is, like, glowing in all the covers that have recently come out. Um, I just like that little aspect of it. But, once again, don't know how the story is. Um, everyone's saying it's really good and I'm missing out, and I'm, I'm probably gonna agree with you, but I, I don't know. It's just, I put it in my box and I forget about it. But, um... That's it for New Comic Book Day. Um, other than those pickups I have coming in, I literally pretty much ran out of room in all my boxes. So I'm either going to have to sell some, give some away, or something because I'm not buying another box until I move out. Um, we did put a couple bids on some houses, but we haven't heard anything back. So Oh, it's going to be really hard because I am an eBay addict. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should say watch out for some videos or stand by because I don't know when I'm going to get them. But anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Hope everyone picked up what they were looking to pick up. And um, I hope everyone has a bunch to read today. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. And always, always have a great day.